But uh, you do my intro, Kev. I don't, okay. I don't know if you like doing it. What's <laughs> going on? It's your boy, GP, here, rocking with you with the Aqua Method podcast. <laughs> this here is episode, I'm not really sure because I'm making this up as I go along. What episode? 84. 84. <laughs> yeah, which I've been, at, I've been on 20 or so. I, I'm going to have to check to see. It's somewhere in there. I'm not that, inter- that interesting. I'm sure I said the same thing over and over again. That's it. Nothing wrong with that. You know, that's all right. But yeah, if you need us, you can find us on the internet. Just mm-hmm. Google us. Aqua Method Podcast. You'll find what you there need. There you go. Because I don't remember the... The, the, the rest the, of the same. Yeah, I know the, the YouTube account is uh, Grasshopper with three S's. Yeah. Or four S's. Or five. There's a bunch of S's There's in there. There's a bunch of S's. But that's all right. It's three S's. <laughs> but it happens. Yeah, it's the worst introduction ever. That's all right. We um, winged it. I'll, I'll do it. Uh... What's going on, y'all? It's your boy GP, and you're rocking with me on the Aqua Method Podcast. And as always, you can follow me on Twitter, Grasshopper GP, Instagram, Grasshopper GP, both of which spell normally. No special characters, numbers, emojis, underscores, anything crazy like that. It's Grasshopper GP, Instagram, and Twitter. Send me an email at grasshoppergp at yahoo.com. Any types of sponsorships, advertisements, questions, comments, all that good stuff. Grasshopper GP at yahoo.com is the place to do it. You're listening to this on Grasshopper GP Official. That's Grasshopper with three S's because when I made the account, couldn't spell. Grasshopper GP Official with three S's is the YouTube account. Thank y'all for once again rocking with your boy. I commit the podcast episode 84. 84. 84 episodes. Yeah, when I, when I uh, go back home, I'm going to check out and see exactly how many episodes you've done with Kevin. Right, cool. No, I'm, ex- I'm I'm interested. I'm in- I'm, I'm interested to see. No one's interested. I ain't interested. <laughs> interested. <I'm kidding. laughs> so man, what's going on? What's up, man? So uh so Valentine's Day just passed. How yep. was that for you? Uh uneventful. Oh. Yep. Un- Girl I had to work. Oh. Yep. Um, <laughs> and she was like, to hell with flowers, let's get crawfish. Well, that's good. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's so good. I went and got crawfish. That's all right. Yeah. Very practical, man. She wanted a jack for Christmas, like oh. a hydraulic jack for a car. Okay. And and then she needed. To, we're going to Disney World next week, mm. so she want, uh, and her shoes were ratty. I was like, "You got to get me some new shoes. You're saying you're saying it work. You know, you, you feel you can kill you by the time it's over with." Mm-hmm. So she's like, "Well, I'll get someone." To, I'm like, "No, no, let's go buy you some shoes." So I went and bought some shoes, and then she was like, "Well, that's Valentine's Day. Like, what up, man? Yeah. Practical, realistic. Right. You know, down to earth. You know, good stuff. That's good. Yep, that's good. How about you?" Uh, also uneventful. Uh, I'm single, so uh, Valentine's Day uh, wasn't wasn't much of a of a big thing for me this year. Um, even when I wasn't single, Valentine's Day wasn't a big thing because yeah. I felt like because uh, we were towards the end of our relationship anyway. So and uh, she felt weird around Valentine's Day for some reason because it's like right around her birthday and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so Valentine's Day is not that big a deal for me yet. I'm looking for somebody to make Valentine's Day Valentine's Day a big deal. Um, but uh, but yeah, uneventful cap. Uh, I was uh, I was on the road. I was getting on my way back to Louisiana because I was on a trip. Um, I went to Alabama and Tennessee. How would you do that? <laughs> well, because I wanted to go. Well, I've never been to Tennessee. Right. And my cousin stays at the border of uh, Alabama, Tennessee. She stays in a town called Huntsville. Right. Alabama. Been there. And um. And I wanted to see uh, the Nashville Predators play. That's a NHL mm-hmm. team, hockey team. Cool. And I had a good time. I had a great time over there. And, uh, you know, just want to experience new things and go to a new state. Yeah. Because, like I said, I want to go all 50 states. And uh, I'm almost, I'm, I'm 29 years old now, and I got a lot of states to go. So, oh, so I'm working on that. I had a good time, man. It was nice. awesome. Uh, like, they, like, the strip on uh, uh, Broadway is like um, – it's like Bourbon Street, but a lot more clean, right. like cleaner, and uh, a lot more organized. Cool. And they got like these taxi cabs, uh, like like these like deluxe go karts, and I mean like what you call them, uh, golf carts. Right. And this guy, these guys would drive around, picking up people for free, and take you wherever you need to go. And uh, hmm. all you have to do is just tip them. Nice. It was really really nice. And we went to. Uh, the, if you're ever in Nashville, I recommend y'all stop by the Peg Leg Porker, which is a barbecue restaurant. Okay. Um, fantastic pulled pork sandwiches. They have something called Kool-Aid Pickles Cap. That's the face I made when I saw it on the menu. Kool-Aid Pickles. They are pickles that are marinated in Kool-Aid for five days. What flavor Kool-Aid? Red. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about all that. Cap, I tried them out. You get six for four dollars. 
uh, and I felt like I don't recommend getting them. Go to the Peg Leg Poker. The food is delicious. Kool-Aid pickles don't get because uh, they don't taste like anything. They just taste like regular pickles. That's dumb. Yeah. They look like if a, if a plant could bleed, that's what it looks like. Wow. But uh, they were not they were not in a, in a novel uh, culinary experience. No, that sounds that sounds lame. Mm-hmm. I, I, I know. I'm, I'm gonna Google that right now. What we're looking at. <laughs> it's dumb. Why would anybody want Kool-Aid pickles? That's dumb. <laughs> Kool-Aid pickles from the Peg Leg Poker, four dollars. Get you six of them. Yep. I ate two of them, and I think my cousin ate. Three of them, and we just threw away the Big last six one. last one. Yeah, yeah hell with yeah. that. <laughs> no, screw that. Um, but yeah, yeah. yeah, but the rest of it was, was just delicious. Now, you know, okay, going to Alabama, is a, there's a chain in Alabama. Uh-huh. Uh, speaking of barbecue. Okay. Um, oh, man, Dreamland. No went. Go. The barbecue is decent. Yeah. The sauce is what makes it. Yeah. So it, it, that's, that's like my go-to place. If I'm going through Mobile, I'm, I'm hitting Dreamland. Okay. It's good stuff. Cause I had a, uh, I was in Mobile for a little bit and I didn't know where to go. I didn't know what to do. Cause I, I, was, I had like two or three hours to kill in Mobile. But yeah, that's the only thing I can think of doing Mobile. <laughs> Greenland. Other than that, dry. But while in Huntsville, we went to Moe's. Moe's was good. The macaroni and cheese is mm-hmm. awful. Really? It was awful. It was just buttered macaroni. But that pulled pork was delicious. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They ain't macaroni and cheese. No, macaroni like where? Where's the? Che- I was like, where's the cheese? Yeah, I was disappointed. No disrespect to Moe's out in Huntsville, but uh, that was not that. Uh, where's the thing. cheese? Damn it! Well, yeah, where's the cheese at, man? There was man, no that, cheese. That ain't cool. I, don't, I ain't good with that. Mm-mm. So but yeah, that was a good time, man. That was a good trip. Um, like you know, we I born and raised in Louisiana, mm-hmm. so I don't see mountains. Yeah. But we went to Huntsville and uh, we just started riding around, just exploring. You know. Um, the outer reaches of uh, of Alabama. There was we went we, somehow we got on this mountain, and it was it was really nice looking. You know, driving on a mountain, it was mm-hmm. really cool. It was like one of those uh like a Audi uh, commercial or something. Right. You know, it was really dope. Oh yeah, been there. We we do, my uh, had friends had a, ca- a quote unquote a cabin right out right up the Smoky Mountains in uh in, in Alabama. Oh shit, Alabama, um Tennessee. Mm-hmm. And uh, we'd go up there every once in a while, and that was just crazy yeah Just, you know nah. best fried chicken ever though when i say fried yeah. chicken what even fried chicken i don't know what the hell it was <laughs> it's some kind of chicken and, and the, it was a penguin on the box mm. it wasn't exactly fried it was almost like it was battered and baked or something oh wow good lord it was good though kind of mm. like uh like they do with the fish in uh in london with the fish and chips kind of and uh, not like, quite was it kinda. thick like yeah yeah it was good though man it was mm. good penguin <laughs> Strange, but fried you know, penguin, delicious. Yep, delicious. <laughs> but, yeah, we, we're heading. We're actually taking off next Saturday. Not Saturday, but next. And we're heading to to Disney World. Okay. So we're yeah. going to. That's we're about to roll out of here too. A couple Saturdays from now. Yep. Mm-hmm. You know, looking forward to it. Is your first time going? Oh no, no, no it's no. not your first time. It's her first time. It, yeah. Well, she hadn't been since she was like five. Oh, okay. So she, I mean, she was a little kid. Yeah, it always fascinates me, uh, and I, I don't know, maybe I just take, you know, you, you grow up a, a certain way, and you start taking life for granted, uh, and you start taking, you know, things your, your parents or your family might have done for you for granted, and I went to, um, I went to Disneyland, I can't remember the first time I went, I don't know how old I was, but I've been to Disneyland a few times, but you'd be surprised how many adults have never been to Disneyland, you know, it's just, I don't, it's maybe not a, a and that maybe it's not because of uh, of cost, you know, just something that that just never happened, you know, just something that just slipped them, that missed them over time, and then you know they want they wake up one morning and they're, you know, in their late twenties, early thirties, forties, whatever, and they've never been. And it always interests me. I just you know just thought that that's something that everybody does, but it's it's not. But you know everybody should experience Disneyland at least once in their lives. You know it's extremely expensive. You know go get your bottle of water. It's gonna cost you five, six dollars. But uh, you know um, but you know Disney's hurting. They gotta get that money. Um, you know despite the, uh, the acquisition of uh, Star Wars and Marvel properties and ESPN and all that. You know Disney got money, man. Mad loop. So yeah, we had to Disney World. Awesome. And uh, the girl hadn't been since she was uh, five or six. 
so it's gonna be a whole new experience for her. Okay. Um, cause di- oh crap, I forgot to mm, forgot to make my reservations. Uh-oh. Oh, reservations yeah, for what? Your hotel? I uh, no 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 for uh, we're gonna we have a date night. Mm. Where you going, Cap? Uh, di- well, oh, the Disney World. Okay. And I got uh, the restaurants are always kind of hard to get into. So oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Get a reservation yeah. or not? Mm-hmm. But um, it's gonna be new for her. And then uh, my sister hadn't been since she was a kid. So. Uh, you know, she's gonna be new. It's gonna be new for her. I don't think. Oh, so you're going with your sister too? Yeah, uh, mom, dad, okay. brother-in-law, sister, mm-hmm. their two kids, mm-hmm. my girl, my two kids. So you know, it'll be interesting. It'll be a, uh, well, that's good. Yeah, it'll be a make it or break it trip for her. She can handle all of us, and she's a keeper. All right. <laughs> the test. Yep. The final test. That's good. Yep. But um. You know, so, are you excited since uh, since there's that the Star Wars now and yeah. um yeah. and Marvel? Yep. It's been. Five years since I've been. Four, four, five years. Four mm-hmm. years since I've been, um, and they've changed a lot since then. I bet. Sadly, there's like there's a. Uh, my mom's a huge fan of the movie Avatar. Okay. Um, with the blue creatures. Yeah. <laughs> there's a there's an Avatar section opening. Yeah. In two months. Right. So we're, she's gonna she's not gonna get to we'll see miss that. It, yeah. And then next year they're opening a whole Star Wars section. Okay. Um, so we're going to miss that too but mm. it should be there's a bunch of new stuff and there's yeah. a bunch of new yeah. so stuff to see and you know it'll be interesting yeah. they, they changed the way they did things I don't know it, it's going to the way they, they do things especially with special needs kids mm-hmm. um, as it used to be they gave them a, a special pass that you got to use the short lines every time mm-hmm. which was a godsend mm. but uh, then jackasses started renting special needs people oh oh yeah it's like a thousand dollars a day <laughs> you run a special needs person and you get the quicker pass. That's awful. Yep. That is the worst thing I've ever so heard. So they, they cut it out. But that is awful. Yep. <laughs> like, like some like that level of of, of uh, deceit and uh, and backhandedness is I, just something I would never even consider. Yeah. We see we joked about it. Yeah. We always because because my oldest son now can tell you where anything is in any of the parks. You mm-hmm. ask him, he can point you to it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, he's a tour guide and he gets a good pass. We should rent his little butt, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. But, you know, meaning the, like as a tour guide, not mm-hmm. necessarily as a, as a pet, you know? Right, right, right. But, yeah, people come to find out, people, would, like rich people, That's bring, awful. bring a, a parent and a special needs person. Now, Cap, is this uh, alternate, like, alt facts or uh, alternate news? And oh, no, this is legit, okay. 100% legit. Because okay. they had to change the way they hand, they deal with special needs can- um like members, like like customers now. I'm just not interested in, in treating people like that. Yeah, I, it, it's 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 garbage, man. I I don't know. It, it's pathetic. I mean, I know I saw a lot of people in wheelchairs that you know that didn't need to be in wheelchairs and stuff like that. Mm. But you know that's not the here. That, you know. Yeah, and, and and that puts uh that puts uh Disney in a precarious situation because you can't really test them. Right. You know, because you wind up testing them and what they really are. Right. You know, their special needs yep. or handicap. But. But yeah, that's it's, awful. Yeah, it's but it's always fun, man. We uh we had a lot of we they treat our kids really really well, mm-hmm. you know, and they do they go out of their way to, to do stuff for us, and it's uh it's always a good time. So we're looking forward to it, and I don't know, hopefully you know she'll enjoy it. It's a twelve hour road trip, you know, with two, with two autistic kids. It's oh always fun, yeah, but, oh yeah. So why you not playing? Why you not flying? Um, because my dad doesn't fly. Mm. And Is it, they, he never flew? Nope. He'll, he's been in a helicopter, but not a plane. Okay. Uh, well, I say that he's been. Um, he was flown to Germany during mm. there in uh, during Nam. Oh, okay. But uh, he, he said he never get in a plane again. Mm. So if there's some place he wants to go, he's, he's, he's driving. What, but like, so he's never going out of the country again. Nope. Mm. So, but that's the end. Hey man, I ain't mad. If I could stay on the ground too, I'm gonna stay on the ground too. Do not me. I fly. I fucking put me in the plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My trip was actually a bus trip. That's not too I, bad. I, I took the. It was kind of bad, Cap. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I like, I like taking. I think because like I'm taking the bus, uh, you know, as an adult, you know, by myself twice. Mm-hmm. I went to Atlanta, uh, the top of 2016, and now it's the top of 2017. And I went to Alabama, and um, Huntsville, and uh, I, uh, the first time I was fortunate enough to meet a chick while I was going mm-hmm. to Atlanta, and she was going to Atlanta too, so she was making all the stops that I was making. Right. And uh, and you know it was somebody to talk to. She was pretty, right. you know, and we hit it off pretty well. So um, that made it a lot easier. That made the time go by faster. Everything. Yeah. No such luck on this trip. And it was a 16-hour drive, 
I mean, sixteen hour trip because of all the stops and the right. layovers, which I don't understand. That doesn't make any sense to me because why? Why do I have to stay in, let's say, Montgomery or Mobile for two or three hours? You know, why can't we just like pick up the people who need to pick up and go? It, it's because you're waiting for everybody else to come, to make it to Montgomery oh, from enough. everywhere else. Yeah, fair enough. Because it's it's it's. It, it, you know, you a lot of people. You think about it, or most people don't, don't really think about it. You get on a bus and you think oh, I'm gonna go straight where I'm going. Right. But every time you stop somewhere, you're waiting on everybody else's bus to get there too to see who needs to get off of that bus to get on your bus. Right. So it's always it's like yeah. same thing with, with airfare with it flying. You know, you always mm-hmm. gotta wait for somebody else from somebody another plane come from somewhere else to get you where you're going. But I've only been on one bus trip, which is Chicago. Yeah. Um, How's that? How long was that? That was 16 hours. Oh no way. Yeah. Cause my trip was 16 hours going yeah. from Louisiana to yep. Huntsville. After you're Downsville, and but the thing is, we we uh we didn't stop. Okay, it must have been. A, it wasn't Greyhound. Then. No, no, no. It was a it was a private. Okay. Um, and the thing was, it was there was thirty some odd, thirty yeah thirty some odd uh, twelve to fourteen year old kids on the bus with us mm. that weren't allowed cell phones, you know, weren't allowed electronics. Period. Mm, mm. Was that so, a school trip? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that was uh interesting. We stopped in the middle of the night. Because um, one bus driver took us from Lafayette to uh, West Memphis, Arkansas, mm-hmm. um, and then from that point we picked up the next bus driver that stayed with us the whole week, and that was the only time we stopped. So we drove. We left at like 1 a.m. in the morning, and got to Chicago late that next afternoon. That's all right. Um, so we slept a good chunk of it, mm-hmm. and then uh, we stopped. It. First of all, we got you know I wake up when the bus stops. And all the kids are sleeping, and they were like, look, you know. Anybody wakes up, you gotta go to the bathroom. We store right here. Mm-hmm. Looked around, said where we're at. Well, West Memphis. Oh no, mm-hmm. nope. I ain't getting out of the bus. They don't like people like me here. No. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you're familiar with the West Memphis Three and all no, that shit. No, never heard. Um, back in the late '80s, early '90s, must have been early '90s. Mm-hmm. There was some kids murdered in West Memphis, Arkansas. Okay. And they picked up the three quote unquote metalhead kids, mm-hmm. like the weird kids, mm-hmm. like me. Mm-hmm. And they were in jail for. 12, 14, 15 years. Come on. Um, and they've done documentaries, a documentary called Paradise Lost, and they've done three different installments of it. Mm. And th- the people that did the documentary found enough evidence to help them get released. Mm. Because it was everyone knew they didn't do it, but they could never pin it on who it did. And it looks like one of the kids' stepfather had done it. Mm. And there was a photo of the, of the, uh, the corpse of one of the kids that had an indenture on his forehead. Um, and the the documentary guys realized it was teeth marks. Mm. So they went to the cops and went to the people, started asking about it. Well, they asked the stepdad about it, and they went back to interview him a second time. He had got he went got all his teeth pulled, mm. like out of the blue. Okay, he got dentures mm. because they, I mean, painfully obvious. He's the one that did it. Right. Um, but I was just like, man, I ain't, nope, not not West Memphis. I'll if I got to pee, I'll wait. <laughs> nope, not gonna happen. But it was great though. I didn't. I forgot to bring a pillow. Huh? I forgot to bring a pillow. Oh no. Oh yeah. So I had a hoodie that I did my best to ball up and sleep. Yeah, I did that but too. I, but I wasn't sleeping. So I went and sat with the bus driver, mm-hmm. who was an uh, o- uh, older gentleman. Named, they call him Pops. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and Pops was cool. Pops was so cool. <laughs> so I sat with him the whole, you know, the whole ride down. And I uh, shot the bull with him. He's got a sweet tooth. He's a lot of candy. So I had a bag full of candy. So he and I just sugar rushed the whole, the whole until the sunrise, you know. Mm-hmm. And, uh, really cool, really, really cool gentleman. Yeah. Um, and, hung, and hung out with him quite a bit through the week. And he got like stuff like there was a, there was a Cubs hat mm. that I love, that I wanted to have. Um, a buddy of mine, it's an ex wrestler, always wore it. And I was like, I, I, I want one of those. Mm-hmm. So that was my goal when we got up there was to find one of those for myself and for, okay. the, do- for the, the the former stepdaughter, one on one too. Okay. So I we looked everywhere as we could. We looked in Chicago, and couldn't find them, couldn't find them, and then finally uh, asked pops. I was like, where would I get this? Because he's driven this, he'd driven that trip multiple times. Right. He's like, you got to go to Wrigley. I'm like, we're going anywhere near Wrigley? Nope. Oh, <laughs> so we got done one day at a, at a museum that was garbage. It was a horrible, boring museum. <laughs> and he's awful. like, well, we left early. We got like three hours. Let's go drive. Mm-hmm. And next thing I know, we pull up at Wrigley Field. Mm-hmm. And he's like, okay, everybody, out. Let's go check out Wrigley Field. Mm-hmm. He came over to me and said, 
is your chance. Mm-hmm. Run. Yeah, there you go. And I ran the entire circumference of Wrigley Field oh, wow. on the other side of the street. There's shops all the way around it. Mm-hmm. And of course, I stopped at like on a clock. I stopped. At, I started at one o'clock mm-hmm. and ran around. Mm-hmm. And then, of course, when I get to the one at, at twelve o'clock, I found my hat. <laughs> that's good. If I just went to twelve o'clock first, it right. saved a lot of time. Of course, but yeah. that's okay. Yeah. And actually, it's funny. I contacted a friend of mine that lives in Chicago today because the hat's now pretty rowdy and, t- and, and tattered and mm-hmm. gross. And we'll get you needs to be replaced. But it's really hard to find. I can't even get one online. Right. So hopefully, you can find one. But but yeah, that was my bus experience. And then coming home, um, we straight shotted it from Chicago through the night. Which I didn't sleep, and uh, hung out with Pop most of the ride home. Mm-hmm. But the most enjoyment I got. So these kids weren't allowed like like any electronics. Right. What year was this? Uh, four years, three years ago. Okay. Kids weren't allowed any electronics, but they had um, CD player, like a DVD player on the bus with screens. Right. Yeah. And the teacher brought movies, but she brought like uh, movies she made copies of. Mm-hmm. And that she forgot her other movies, like the real copies. So none of them worked. Oh, no. So um, the only one she had the actual copy of was the original Bad News Bears. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, Are you going to let these kids watch that? She's like, yeah, it's Bad News Bears. I'm like, you don't remember that movie, do you? <laughs> oh, yeah. Ten minutes into it, oh, we're not watching that. Because, yeah. I mean, one of the kids curses half the time. They, at one point, he's on the toilet with a Playboy. Mm. you know, And the teacher's like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. no one saw that, right? Right. But... So the kids sang constantly. Oh. <laughs> and that was right when Frozen came out. Oh. So the whole bus of teenagers, well, Let the girls. Go. Oh, yeah. Anytime anybody would make a comment, mm. they would start. Oh, man. If you, made a, if you quoted a song, mm. they would start. Mm. I had my headphones on. Mm. I was humming a song, and they started. <laughs> they sang the entire, the whole Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> really? A kid even did the guitar parts. Wow. With his mouth. <laughs> Someone said something I was like Look you just need to let that go And it started Man. It was insane <laughs> So the ride funny. back It's like 4 o'clock in the morning mm. It's time to start Getting in touch with your parents To make sure your parents could be at the, To pick you know, the weight So we cranked up Let it go oh, wow. And the, the chaperones All started singing At the top of our lungs To wake them up mm. It was just The most satisfying oh, It just made me feel just mean. I liked it. Oh, Cap. We had so much. I got in so much trouble on that trip, though. Man. But. Dude. I, you see, okay, so the thing was, I got. The, 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 I was living with a woman who had two kids. Mm-hmm. Loved her two kids. Okay. Um, daughter at the time was 12. Mm-hmm. Just, that was my kid. That was my. You know, I, I would have adopted her if I could have. Yeah. Um, and instead of asking her mom to go on the trip, she asked me mm-hmm. to chaperone. And I thought. Pfft, Okay, they ain't, they're not going to prove me, but I'll go, you know. I'll tell them I'll go, mm-hmm. you know. I'll, so you got to go take a, a polygraph and uh, several polygraph. other things. Yeah, you got to go to, um, oh, not polygraph, you got to go get fingerprinted. Okay. Stuff like that. Polygraph. Um, <laughs> polygraph? I'm thinking, damn, that's not right. That's intense. And I, I'll go to the school board, and I know they're not going to approve me. Because you're not the legal guardian. Right. And while, while I'm there, the woman makes us wait for hours to get fingerprinted mm-hmm. so they can do a background check. Right. Um. And finally, I was, the uh, woman came out because I got there and there was three other women waiting. And we waited for, I waited for like an hour and a half. And there's a, a secretary right there and we're just kind of, we're all talking amongst ourselves and cutting up and trying to make the best of it. Yeah. This woman comes out and goes, oh, are you guys waiting to get fingerprinted? Yes, ma'am. Oh, man. And she looks at the, the receptionist and goes, why didn't you tell me they were here? Mm-hmm. And I went, wait. She didn't tell you we were here? Mm-hmm. These women have been here for like three hours. I've been here for an hour and a half. Right. <laughs> and I was like, you had one job. <laughs> you suck. Like, can I apply for her job while I'm here? <laughs> you know, so I made a big stink, and I, I, mm. I very much pissed this woman off. Of course. Because, you know, I was like, so, you know, you are you really that bad at your job? Mm. How do you, who do you know here, you know? <laughs> so I'm like, I made a scene at the, at the place. I'm not this kid's legal guardian. I ain't got to worry about this. Right. Oh, no. They picked me. <laughs> So we're sitting there at dinner one night. And on the way back, we stopped at a restaurant where they throw food at you, throw rolls at you and shit. Right. Um, which was great because I threw them back. And we, you know, had a good old time. But, and I asked the woman, I was like, so uh, I got to know how to get approved for this. And she's like, well, you know, families are not the same structure as they used to be and mm-hmm. this and that and blah, yeah. blah, blah. Yeah, I yeah. was like, 
I'm the only parent that uh, that that uh, said they go right. Just yep, pretty much, because <laughs> there was two other parents and me mm. and then two teachers. Right. But basically, you had to pay hundred dollars to go. Yeah. So uh, nobody else signed up for it. Okay. And that's what it amounted to. Mm. So uh, that's how you, you know. got the gig. Yep. But they were, you know, they were happy. Actually, they asked me to go the next year when I didn't have a kid involved. Right. Um, they asked me if I would go. Wow. If they, because they, they could, didn't get enough parents to sign up, and then at the last minute, some more parents signed up, so they didn't, they didn't right. need me. But I, I was like, well, I guess they were okay. Right. But we, I mean, I just we had. Uh, that was, I mean, that's that's very nice, and that's good that they trust you. But still, man, that's yeah. kind of dangerous. Well, I told them, man, if you know, I'll go as long as I ain't got paid eight hundred dollars. If y'all <laughs> pay the, you know, if you don't charge me, right, and I'll bring my own spending money, but you know, mm. don't. Because out of the eight hundred dollars, every day we got a, a stipend, of standing money. Okay. But man, no, we we just I got so much trouble. We weren't supposed to buy stuff for kids. As part of the trip was to balance their money. Mm. So of course, what am I doing to make sure these kids don't cut up? I'm bribing them. <laughs> I'm giving them ice cream. You know, or uh, you know, I'm like kid bought. They spend all their money on junk. They got no money for food. The sandwiches on the bus. Mm. So we go to a decent restaurant and. You know, this kid ain't got no money left. She's just she's gonna eat a sandwich on the bus. Mm-hmm. I'm buying this kid's food and stuff. Like, That's yeah, nice. Yeah, you know. <laughs> and I'm getting and every time I get fussed at for it. And then we get there, and we're in Chicago, and we, we have a night where we're just gonna order in. <clears throat> and they're like, "Let's order hamburgers." And I'm like, "What night are we eating pizza?" I'm like, "Oh, we didn't. We're not eating pizza." No. Oh. You brought these kids to Chicago. You're not feeding them pizza. Yeah, you gotta do that, man. I said no, no, no. Y'all order what y'all order. I'm taking my kid, and we're going to get pizza. Mm. Good luck. <laughs> and they looked at it and sat down and realized the p- ordering pizza to be delivered from Giordano's was cheaper than mm. what they were going to do. I bet. And it was great because we had one kid that was Jewish, mm. and uh, so we got cheese pizza, like a cheese pizza for those people. And then the rest were all pepperoni, and one of them was like pepperoni and bacon. And he walks by, and he's got a big old, big old deep dish yeah. pepperoni and bacon. I'm like, it's crazy, dude. Aren't you Jewish? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some high five. Yep. Wow. Get the pig, bro. But no, we had, uh, it was great. I, I got in trouble a lot. <laughs> I got in trouble a lot. Oh uh, man. That's a cap they, trip. Yep. They man. They each everybody had uh, name tags, mm-hmm. and mine said Mr. Jeff, and my, mine were yellow. Um, and each kid had a different name tag for each day. Mm-hmm. So what it was, they mixed up the groups every day. So one chaperone never had the same kids. Okay. And the kids never had the same group. Right. So everything was mixed up constantly. Mm-hmm. So every day, if you had a, when you got up, you threw away your team tag for yesterday. If you had a yellow tag, you were mine. Mm-hmm. I started calling my kids the lemon drops. Mm-hmm. So anytime I needed something, I'd just scream, lemon drops! And they'd all hustle to me. Wow. So, of course, each team had the name. They were like, well, we've we, we got to be something, too. You know? mm-hmm. So each, everybody had the name. They were like, thanks for messing up everything. I'm like, what? I was like, I, I yell. It gave me something to yell. It made right. them all come to me. Right. You know? Be like, but not in the middle of the Museum of Modern Art. Hey, it got them to me. <laughs> I found my kids. I don't care about y'all. You know, I'm, I, I had eight kids. I had them. Right. Bam, lemon drops. They know to run. They may be getting some free. <laughs> so... You know, it was fun. Captain Corruption. Oh, yeah. um, you know me. But yeah, the trip was nice. It was, it was really cool. Uh, I like I like riding the bus because one, it's cheap. Your boy GP is frugal. Um, it was half the price of going of taking a plane. Uh, I would have taken the, the train, but I didn't see any trains that were scheduled to the, the location that I was going to, so I couldn't do it. Um, what I like about the, the bus, I, I knew it was going to be a long ride. I didn't know it was going to be so many layovers and so much dead time, but I knew it was going to be a long ride, but all my all my responsibilities were taken care of prior. So all my bills and stuff like that were already taken care of. I'm not working. You know, I'm on vacation. So I, I have, and I'm trapped, like, in a, in a small, you know, I'm on, I'm on a bus, so I can't really do much. So I'm trapped with my thoughts. You know, and my books, and you know, and and things that I, that interest me. You know, like the my, the podcast I listen to, uh, YouTube stuff like that. You know, and it I had nothing else to do but the stuff that I like to do, and I and that's kind of why I like. You know, you're in the perfect 360 degree of just stuff you you know just stuff that interests you until you get to your actual destination. That's why I like riding a bus. The one bus trip I had was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, like I said, the first one I had was really, really dope, and but I think I was spoiled because I met that girl. Mm-hmm. And uh, the second one, um, but the second one was all right in that on the way back to Louisiana from from Alabama, 
I didn't have anybody ride with me. Nice. You know, the the bus was pretty was rather empty. So everybody pretty much had their own seats, which was kind of dope. So, um, and technology, man, technology is great. Mm -hmm. uh, there's, you know, there's Wi-Fi on the bus, but the Wi-Fi is awful. Mm -hmm. So if you can go to a bus terminal where they got, you know, way better Wi-Fi, you can download stuff and Netflix, you know, you can download stuff to your phone now. So I had stuff, I was just downloading, you know, random shit just to have. Right. So I had Superbad. I had uh, this new movie, this Netflix movie called Eye Boy with the chick from uh, Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. And I think the dude was from... Uh, Maze Runner, that was the second one, and uh, that was kind of dope. And I had Marco Polo and uh, The Crown, uh, Queen Elizabeth stuff like that. You try that out and stuff. And um, well, that's cool. But you can't download. There's a lot of stuff you can't download right. on Netflix, unfortunately. You can't download no Marvel stuff. Right. So no Agent of Shield, Luke Cage, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, right. none of that. Uh, and uh, I think a lot of Fox stuff you can't download either. Uh, so no Archer. You know, I wanted yeah, to get all mostly Netflix stuff. original stuff. I like, you know. Right, right. But like those some movies you could like, like I said, I had Super Bad and stuff like that. But um, but yeah, and I had you know I had my books and stuff like that. It was cool. It was a good little trip. But my man right here uh, walking uh, outside uh, Ann Books too, where we're recording that, had a Batman T-shirt. So, Cap, you gonna see a Lego Batman? I already saw it. You saw it. I saw it. I'm proud of you. I thought you were gonna say no. Nope. Oh, dude, it's Lego. <laughs> but it's it's Warner Brothers. I ain't got no like, problem with Warner Brothers. Oh, I thought you had a problem with Warner Brothers, Cap. I know. In the DCU. Well, I got a problem with the DC movies because okay. they suck. Mm. But this is this was I mean written by the same people as the Lego movie. Right. You know, totally different situation. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I ain't got no David Goyer or Zack okay. Snyder involved. Okay. Which they even made fun of those, which mm. was great. So. So you, so you don't mind DC movies as long as it's not Warner Brothers? I mean, as, as long as it's not. Uh, what is this? Because it is still a Warner Brothers movie, and it's yeah, still DC. Yeah. It, well. I mean, the Lego movie was a Warner Brothers movie, too. Right. But the problem is, that, that, like, the DC Universe movies, right. I got no interest in. They, they just, everything they put out has been bad. Okay. So I got no, no reason to, to care about it. But, this, you know, this was the same people that did Lego movie, which was really good. Mm -hmm. you know, so I had no reason to, to believe it would be anything but good. And it was it was good. It wasn't great, but it no, was good. That's what I said. That's what I said. Like, people making it out to be like it was, the, it was the, like the top movie of so far of 2017. And it wasn't no. to me. See, I like... It was good, though. It looked yeah. it was beautiful. Yeah. It looked good. My thing was, I liked the Batman stuff in the Lego movie, uh -huh. but it was just little bits. Yeah. So when he popped up, it was great. A whole movie of it was a bit much. Right. He was annoying, you know? Really? It, so you don't like it, uh, uh, the Will I Now take on No, no, I, I like that fine, but only right. in, it, obviously only in little doses. Okay. You know, the... Ex I thought the, Batman was the best part of the... I thought him was just... Him talking, his interaction with... Uh, his surroundings, Alfred and Robin and stuff like that. I thought that was the best part of the movie. Yeah, it just got it got old. It, it, I thought it was sappy. Yeah, it got too, a little too it, sappy. It got a little too sappy. You know? Yeah, but you but know. it's for kids though. Yeah, you know. But but I did like the little uh, the little callbacks to like the movies mm -hmm. and the cartoons, like yeah. the little posters they had in them. Yeah. Spoiler alert. Um. But yeah, it was really. I thought it was really well done. Can't be cute looking at your phone, and it makes me want to uh, talk to you about. Pokemon Go. What about it? They got the they got the second generation Pokemon coming out. Yeah, it's supposed to be coming soon. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel about that? Uh, whatever. I don't play. <laughs> I never played that crap. <laughs> I'm lying. I play like a crack addict. Really? You I still did. play it? No, no, not at all. Okay. I did though. Yeah. Um, I, no, I, the, the other game I play, Ingress. Yeah. It's the same company. Right. Um, so Ingress is the the basis of what Pokemon was built on. Mm -hmm. Um, which I still play Ingress, but uh, the Pokemon thing got old really quick. It did. And there was so much cheating. Okay. And so many people spoofing and stuff. Right. And then as Pokemon, you can only get another, um, on other continents, mm. which is, you know, really dumb. That's not fair. And so to get them, you either have to fly over there, which a couple of people I know have done, wow. but because they were going for something else. Oh, okay. I mean, I've got friends that work for okay. WWE. I mean, i got boys that, you know, my guys that work for WWE that travel around the world. Mm -hmm. So for them, it's no big deal. And that means whenever the trading happens, it'll be no big deal for me to get them either because I'll just get them from them. Mm -hmm. But... You know, you see one, somebody, you know, Joe Boudreaux and, and Crowley's <laughs> got the, the kangaroo and it's that you can only get in Australia, and it's buffed up as high as it can get, mm -hmm. you know, knowing good and well. You can't get them here. Yeah. And not only can you not get it here, but then you'd have to have, have gotten so many of them to have it buffed up that much. Mm. It had taken, you know, months. You know, he didn't do that, mm. you know. It, it just very, very annoying very quickly, and... The same old Pokemon over and over again. Right. Just, uh, right, 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 right. 
didn't care. You know, just that was. I mean, I brought it up because I know you that you were a fan of the other game, Pokemon Go, but it was so big. Mm -hmm. It was big. Like, I mean, once it hits like GMA, a Good Morning America, and and and, and news outlets and stuff like that, it's a it's a big deal. Yeah. It was it was worldwide and it was a craze. But it was it was like it was much akin to. MySpace, it was a big thing for a second, mm -hmm. you know, and then it disappeared. Yep. But MySpace lasted for a few years. This, yeah. this felt like it was like a month. Yeah, it, about two months, yeah. Yeah. And what happened, they, uh, they, everyone, I don't know why, but they started playing, they immediately thought, oh, okay, I'm going to be able to catch everything. Mm -hmm. And they realized, oh, I don't, I can't catch everything that easily. Yeah. They were like, oh, well, never mind. It just pitches and Zubats yeah. and stuff yeah. like that. You know, it's like, it's a game. The whole point is to keep you engaged. Right and and lead you to do something else and then get you to spend money on it. That's the point of the game, you know. But I tried it for a second. I had Squirtle and uh, I, I caught a few little things here and there. But yeah, I stopped caring, man. I don't have time to be. I have like I had my phone active all the time, then walking around and stuff like that. Yeah. You see, and I, I, I'm out playing Ingress anyway, mm -hmm. so I'm at. Mo I mean, all the Poke Stops are based on Ingress stop. So that if I stop at an Ingress stop, chance are it's going to be a Poke stop mm -hmm. or a gym like that too. Right, right, right. But I just don't care. Right. You know, I've got the Poke, the Pokedex is 100 and whatever, and I've got, I'm missing like three. Mm. And I just, you know, and then the four regional ones, but I just don't give a rat's butt, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, you go to Lake Charles and play on the riverfront there, and it was, it was a really good place to play. Yeah. And, uh, but it just, I don't drive. To Lee Charles, right? And it just, and then I was so many people making up shit. What do you mean? Like just making up rumors about the game, or just lying about it. Mm. And there was a a couple groups here in town, like Facebook groups, and people just straight up lying, like telling adults lying to other adults. And like when you call them out on it, getting pissed off. <laughs> had a guy that came here, they kept telling everybody that one of them, you can find one of them in hospitals. So I'm like, that's not true mm -hmm. at all. It's totally not true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. It's on the website. No, it's not. <laughs> no, you, you're lying. Mm -hmm. And then he tried to call me out. I was like, oh, I can't believe we went to school together. So we didn't go to school together. Well, I know you from somewhere. You know where are you from? I said, I, I run the comic shop that you come to and sit there and read comics and never buy anything. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. And then deleted everything. And I hadn't seen him since. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, why would you do that? You know, why go lie to other adults? You know, you just... Yeah. You, I'm an asshole, you know? <laughs> but I still have my sticker on my car. I, I had taken it off yet. I got yeah, it's sticker. cool looking sticker. Yeah, it, it, it's cool. <laughs> I asked her to make one. The girl that made those, I asked her to make me one from, um, from my Ingress team, but uh, she never got a chance to. Mm. Um, but oh well. well. You get serious about the Ingress, man. Oh, yeah. The Ingress is oh, another dude. level, man. Dude, I, I am... Mm. Cap got Cap got so many things going on. Always. Um, I'm but always stirring somebody's cool he's thing. yeah, but you're so yes. I don't know. I maybe I'm just not even blind. But you are just an endearing man to me. You're a cool dude. You're very friendly and and all that good stuff. You see, it, it's you. I have come to the con, to the conclusion. I'm a love hate kind of guy. Mm. If you if you like a sarcastic guy mm. and you're cool with that, and I get it. You know, you get in with me. Everything's golden. Mm -hmm. But there's people that just don't like sarcasm and just don't like my personality. Mm -hmm. They just despise me. Mm -hmm. And it's, it, it's not just like one or two people, you know. It's, no, it, no, it's, no, you're right. I know. I know. <laughs> and it's not like I, but I don't give a f Yeah, you Because should. it's like, if you don't like me. You shouldn't, yeah. Fine. I don't have, you know, I don't, I don't need anything from you. You need anything from me. Right, right, right. You know, whatever. I give everything I can to the people that I do care about. And I get to worry about people that, that don't fall in my book. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, I and you do such a great job here at Ann Books too, where I'm recording that. So thank you again for letting me rock out here. And uh, like I said, as always, um, if you're if you're in the area, if you're in Lafayette, Louisiana, please check out Ann Books too, the comic book shop. Um, it's a very good shop. They got, uh, of course, they got comic books, obviously, board games, Warhammer stuff, card games. Uh, you know, you got your Pokemon, you got your Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic, all that good stuff. So please stop by. If you're a student, they have textbooks. Uh, novels, all kind of stuff. So please stop by Ann Books too. It's a very good spot. Mr. Jeff is a very nice man. Um, he is a reader of energy. So if you got bad energy, he will not be as nice. But if you got good energy, he will detect that and he will be a very sweet man to you. That's, um, that's accurate. I've noticed that. Hmm. <laughs> I've, I've noticed that, man. 
I've noticed that. Uh, but uh, but yeah. Um, but if you're not in the area, please support your local comic book shops. Keep the comic book industry alive and thriving. And uh, the more that you buy comic books and the more you support, the better the comic books will be. Yep. Because they want to make more money. That's true. Yeah. Hey, comp man, hate to say it, but comic shops aren't doing real well right now. Yeah, I, I mean, it makes. I mean, there's so much. That's. I'm glad you brought that up because there's so much. Because uh, I was I was looking at ESPN. And uh, one of my favorite shows, Dan Lebitard's show with Stu Gotts, and uh, he was talking to a reporter from ESPN, Pablo Torre, very smart guy, Harvard educated. He was doing a, um, a piece on LeBron James and uh, how LeBron James is trying to transition, you know, you know, post basketball because he's getting up there at eight, you know, and what he's trying to do outside of basketball, you know, trying to have a whole entertainment empire and stuff like that. He said, but the the, the point why I'm bringing it up is. He said the most important commodity we have in this country is attention, mm-hmm. and you know, and it's very hard to grasp people's attention because, mm-hmm. like, I got this podcast, right? Yep. There are a million podcasts mm-hmm. out there, you know, and and my my podcast right now is strictly on YouTube. There are a million YouTube videos you can look at mm-hmm. right now, you know. So I so if you're listening to this, I thank you very much because you can be doing a trillion other things because you got YouTube, Netflix. Uh, cable television, you got premium television, yep. you know, you can go outside, you can read a book, you got video games, you got yeah. Nintendo, Sony, uh, you know, yeah, you um, got, Microsoft. Yeah, you, you've got almost <coughs> infinite possibilities of things you could be doing with your Right, right, right. And I think, and I feel like that's more than ever now. Yeah. Now, Cap, you're a little older than me, so um, so you remember time before the internet mm-hmm. and before Netflix and stuff like that. Um, well, you're not that old. You're not old enough to have like just three channels on the TV, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah, dude. I remember getting cable and being like, "Wait, what?" <laughs> oh yeah, ABC, CBS, and NBC. Oh yeah, and having mm-hmm. to turn the knob, click, 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 click. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's interesting. Maybe cartoons on Saturday morning till yeah. noon, one o'clock. <laughs> and then, uh, so how? That's good. That's about it. How did you feel when uh, there was a whole network of cartoons, Cartoon Network? Because when that when that came, I was, I mean, I was like. You know, maybe 10, 11. I'm like, is this real? Mama, pinch me. Am I dreaming? A whole network of yeah. just cartoons? See, it, well, in my case, especially well, when it started, it was all the old Hanna Barbera stuff. And, right, right, right. You know, but I was a little bit older, mm-hmm. so I, it didn't really affect me all that much. I mean, mm-hmm. babysitting kids at that time, so I got, I saw a bunch of it. Mm-hmm. Um, but you know, it was great. You know, but for me, what got me was man, when we got <coughs> cable, we got MTV. Yeah. And that for me was was it, you know. That was because I've always been huge on you know, music, I love music, right, yeah. and uh, yeah. so that was that was the, the turning point for me. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like holy shit, mu- uh, music on the TV. Hold on, you yeah. know, music videos and stuff. And so that opened up a whole new world to pretty much everybody my age, I mean, my generation, because it was, you know, you, you could see your favorite band, you know, right. for, the, for a change. We're yeah. not having to. You know, my dad, you know, generations before me, my father, you know, never got to see Led Zeppelin. Mm-hmm. You know, unless you'd watch, you know, uh, they had a concert. Yeah, well, you go yeah. to a concert or they release a concert on, at like, a, um, theatrically. Mm-hmm. And that was an option. Ah, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. But other than that, you couldn't see a band, you know. Mm-hmm. So it was just a totally different thing. But that's, I mean, everyone that was a kid of the 80s kind of hit that when they were like, holy crap, you know? Wow, well, yeah, 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 yeah. That's cool. But no, I, I very specifically remember going from a three channel. Yeah. Like the day it happened, I remember. Oh, wow. Yeah. No, no, that was. <laughs> but then, yeah, I mean, I was in, I was in a little small town. Mm. And I was, in, I lived in a small town, but I lived on the outskirts of the small town. So it was like almost a mile between me and the small town. Mm. So we were way out in the boonies. And oh, it was wow. one of those things where we had the. The phone numbers, the, the the it was the area code. Then you got your, your your town code, like the three number. All we had to dial was the four digit code to call in that area. Mm-hmm. So that's how I mean everything was so small and composite right. and, and compact at that point. So just when those things changed, it was it was huge. So, uh, that was uh, but yeah, Cartoon Network. I, I remember very vividly the, sitting down with the kids. I babysat. I babysat. It was two uh, two sisters. Each had a kid, mm-hmm. not a girl, one and a boy. Then the one with the girl had another girl. The one with the boy had another boy. And then the one with the girls had a boy. Then the one with the boys had a girl. Mm-hmm. At any point in time, I had any combination of these six kids. Yeah. So cartoons were a big part of my day. Right. 
so that was great, especially watching them laugh at the old Tom and Jerry yeah. or the new old you know, Falcon Leghorn, stuff mm. like that. And, you know, the Tom's uncle with the guitar and the 10-gallon hat and the frog went you know, and, and stealing Tom's whiskers to respring his guitar. You know, and seeing them laugh at that was just like, okay, that's it. You know. Cramble. Yeah. <laughs> I made that reference to the girlfriend. She was like, what? I was like, oh, no, come here. Yeah, man. YouTube. Yeah. yeah. I, I, my favorite time of Jersey you brought it up is you is or is, is you, you ain't my, my baby, baby. <laughs> yeah. I like those and I love the Don Bluth ones where Tom had the big thick eyebrows uh-huh. um, and he's they were in space like they did some in space and yeah. stuff like that those are my favorites I yeah. always love those they were animated a little different they were, is it Don Bluth or am I mixing up no, I'm, I'm, I'm lying Don Bluth is the guy that did uh, American Tale and uh, Secret of Nim and stuff um, who was it? Quincy, Quincy, one Quincy Jones. No, crap. But yeah, um, it, but yeah, those. That that name sounds familiar. Though. Yeah, I'm, but he had he, Tom had the big thick eyebrows, and it was one where they're on a, like a um, on a space station, mm-hmm. and those I love those. Those are always my favorites. Yeah, and they try to re- try to remake them and stuff like that. And it, no, no, dude, man, out. they they remade a uh, Bugs Bunny recently. The Bugs Bunny show. I think so. Oh, yeah. And man, Bugs is a dick. Yeah. Whereas Bugs has always been kind of obnoxious, but mm. fun about it. Right. This is just obnoxious. Mm-hmm. I'm like, this is not funny. This is annoying. Yeah. Whereas you can go watch the old Looney Tunes stuff, and sure, Bugs was being shitty to to Elmer Floyd, but mm. Elmer's trying to kill him. Right. You know. <laughs> right. So this is just Bugs being a jerk, and right. I'm just like, oh man, I can't. Nope. Nope. Kill it. I, well, it's it's. Like I think Archie is doing a lot better with the the transition of you know the you know the generations and stuff like mm-hmm. that. But you're trying to shoehorn what made Bugs Bunny funny and great back in them days. Yeah. But try to give it you know technology, give him a cell phone and yeah. social media and stuff like that, and, and it just it just doesn't work out no. as well. I mean, it takes it takes like Seth MacFarlane, the uh, creator of Family Guy, um, American Dad, and all that mm-hmm. good stuff. He he was. I think he was, he was tapped to do the Flintstones remake. Really? Fl- yeah, it was going to be a Flintstones remake. I don't know what happened to it, but um, it obviously didn't get made. Or yeah. Maybe it's still in uh, pre-production. But it just didn't work out. Yeah, who knows? And, man, think, it's real, let's be realistic. The things that are funny now, were not uh, that were funny then, aren't still funny. Yeah. I mean, there's cases. Yeah. There are, I, and, I, and that's not always true. Because you can go back and watch. I mean, there's several things that I've watched. um Jerry Lewis do or Mel Brooks that still hold up but mm-hmm. a lot of things they used to do just don't hold you know and there were a lot of obnoxious things they used to do that just wouldn't fly now right I mean there's just they would, they would animate they would put the celebrities of the time into the shows mm-hmm. yeah and so like I mean I'm watching the shows like uh, I don't know maybe 40 50 years later as a little kid and like I don't know these people but it, I mean they start recognizing them because they keep popping up and stuff like that yeah but um, but what made Tom and Jerry so great was the fact that there was no words. Right. Yeah. Yes. I mean, you don't need words, and that makes it timeless because you know you could just affix your whatever sens- sensibilities you have in today and w- with that. Yeah. You know? Until you get until you get to the the housekeeper. Yeah. Who that was, who was uh, black. Who was like a like was supposed to be the stereotypic mammy. Yeah. 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 And yeah. then you're like, well, that's fucked up. I yeah. didn't, you know, I didn't even catch that. I did not catch that at the time. When I was watching the show, I just thought that that black lady, that big black lady, owned the house. Yeah, you know, it's and you know maybe she did. Maybe yeah. I'm the racist for just because <laughs> that was always what it was presented to me as. As an adult, I could see how you come to that conclusion, but I just thought that you know, as a little kid, I just thought that because well, there was those times when there was a big white lady, there was times when there was a big black lady. Mm-hmm. I just thought that you know, Tom and Jerry were inhabitants of this house, and whoever the uh, the human was was the person who owned the house. Well, she always had a broom, so I was I guess I okay. she was always chasing somebody with a broom. Yeah, so that could have been what it was. Uh, but yeah, go back to uh, comic books, Cap, the comic book uh, mm-hmm. uh, store industry. Um, uh, why you think it's uh, failing? I mean, it's hurting. Is it's, it, it's just a down. It's just a down period. Or? It, right, there's some weird stuff going on in comics. Um, mm. DC just relaunched again. Yeah. So. I mean, relaunch, they've relaunched, what, three or four times now? Yeah, it feels like And they, ju- they did... The rebirth stuff? Did, right, uh, they did New on? 52. Not too long ago. Right, six years ago, or going on seven years now. Mm. And they were like, this is the be-all, end-all, this is what's going to... This is the new characters, this is what's going to happen. Mm. And everyone got invested, and then they're like, oh, never mind. <laughs> that was all a, a kind of... A, uh, y'all just forgot who y'all were, and now we're starting over again. 
And that counted, but so does everything else now. Right. So a lot of people are like, well, okay, we'll give it a shot. But then realize the same old, same old, and just bailed on it. Mm -hmm. And then Marvel has been so obviously trying to cater to the Tumblr crowds and the social justice warriors. Uh And, I mean, it's like all of the blue, we have a a female Thor, a black Captain America, a Muslim um, Miss Marvel. Mm -hmm. um, And it doesn't seem uh, sincere. Right. It it, it very much comes off as we're trying really hard to to get everybody. Right. Instead of just being, being naturally diverse would have been fine. Right. But forcing it, yeah. it's like okay, really, yeah. and then forcing it all at one time makes right. it really obvious. Right. I mean, because now we also have a Asian Hulk, uh, an Asian Hulk, a young black um, female Iron Man. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's like, can you, you people that are fans of the Avengers can go to right now and pick up Avenger books, and there's no Avengers in it. Mm-hmm. it. It's other people cosplaying as the Avengers. Is what it feels like. That's, that's, you know, that, that's, but like I've seen on Twitter, there's going to be this new thing called Generations. Yes. Like, you saw that? Yes. Can you talk about that? Um, they don't know anything about it yet. But yeah, so, and then we also have a female Wolverine. Mm-hmm. We have the X-Men who have all been, uh, I won't say DH because it's actually the X-Men from the 60s that have tried travel to now. So mm-hmm. now Scott is young, Jean Grey is back, and she, but she's young, mm-hmm. and... Iceman, who is gay, mm-hmm. and Angel's back with the regular stuff, and the original like humanoid beast is back. So they're they're trying really hard to get that kind of teen market, mm-hmm. and teens don't give a shit about comic books. They just don't care, and people are huge fans of the characters. Oh, people love Kamala Khan, the Miss Marvel. Yeah, but they're not buying the comic. Right, you know, uh, and people love Deadpool. Oh, you, you know, everyone loves Deadpool. No one buys Deadpool comics. <laughs> I mean, Deadpool is one of the smallest selling Marvel books I have. Mm-hmm. I sell like four copies a month mm. of a book that everyone loves. Oh, everyone loves Deadpool. Mm. No, you know, Harley Quinn, same thing. Oh, Harley Quinn, blah blah blah. I sell two, co- three copies a month. <laughs> yeah. But it's really painfully forced. Yeah, and you know what's going to happen as soon as I mean, we get uh, the next Avengers movies in two years. Uh, next year. Next year? 18, yeah. Captain America's already back, mm-hmm. but he'll have his shield back, and he'll be, Iron Man will be back alive, because he's currently in stasis. Right, 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 right. Um, Thor will in be back being Thor. About. Right, yeah. Thor will be back to having the hammer. Mm-hmm. You know, everyone will be back to, it'll be your classic Avengers team again, mm-hmm. because they'll want to have the movies line up with the books, and for, so when the people come in. As close as they can. Right. But you're, you're, regular classic Marvel readers don't care about these characters because they're being forced down your throat. Mm-hmm. Just It's not natural at all. It's not organic. When, you know, Robin became Nightwing, it was organic. It mm-hmm. just flowed. It happened. Yeah. When Bucky took over for Captain America, it flowed. It Makes happened. sense, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know, that... Uh, that was fine. But when you do it to all these characters and you do it all within like a year span... Yeah. It's just like, wow, this is just, no, I'm good. Right. You know, and a lot right. of people have just walked away from it. Mm-hmm. Um, Marvel's having its lowest sales in quite some times now. Mm-hmm. But it's, you can't, you walk in a comic shop and you pick up an Avengers book, there's no Avengers in it. Yeah. They're <clears throat> noticeably pulled back on the X-Men. <clears throat> right, because. <clears throat> right, because they, they were having all these issues with Fox. Yeah. Which they've kind of got some of which smoothed over, it mm-hmm. seems like. But um, X-Men and Fantastic Four are nowhere to be found. Um and now they're they're about to redo X Men again with two different teams, and so it looks like they're gonna try to fix that a little bit. Right. Um, but it makes sense because <clears throat> it makes sense that there's a, a decrease in uh, X Men attention because they're not what's they're not in the MCU. Right. So they're not selling as much. Right. You know, and and, and they're being critically panned on in the movie side. Right. You know. So outside of uh, how you feel about Logan coming out? I don't care. Oh. <laughs> don't care at all. I'm going to check it out, man. X-23 looks kind of dope. A little check playing. Yep, don't care. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I, the last X-Men movie I saw, well, I, I lied. I saw X-Men 3, which was just garbage. Yeah, Hot mess. That's unfortunate. And at that point, I was like, nope, not doing it again. <laughs> um, Did you I, like 2? 2 was okay. Okay. Um, how how you felt about 1? It was okay. Okay. Um, th- going, 
I ended up, I was at someone's house and they were watching first class and I just didn't care. Mm. Um, and then I got begged to bring someone to see Deadpool and I regretted it. I regret spending yeah. the money on it. I regret every <laughs> second of it. You know, I hate Rob Liefeld with a passion. He mm. doesn't like me. You oh. know, I, I, I felt bad. Now, that's the, that's the director of that's the movie the, or the creator? That's the character. Okay. Um, I don't like Ryan Reynolds. I don't oh. like the character. I just don't. You never like the character, though. No, right. I, I just don't care, and I I regretted it the whole time I sat in that movie. Mm. I was like, I spent twenty bucks plus popcorn. I, I must have spent forty bucks that night right. to sit in a movie I did not want to see. I, I just I was well, like, you no. do you do crazy things for women, man. Yeah. <laughs> you do crazy things for women, man. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't know. I just I hadn't seen any of the Wolverine movies. I don't care. Mm. Just okay. well. Uh, this is my opinion. Um, Wolverine one was awful. You didn't see or- Origins? I could have sworn because I saw it. I went to the theater to see it. I could have sworn you was like I saw you. Uh, at nope. the, well, I guess not. I didn't see you when I went to Thor. I remember seeing you there. Yep. But uh, I, I got you, l- was that the one where they had they found was they were dealing with the Tesseract? Yeah. I got left because my I got surrounded by people asking me about the. You sure computer. did. I got left. You sure did. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of people was asking home. you about the Tesseract and stuff like that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you had like, yeah, like a little, uh, like yeah, like a little group. Yeah. I th- how many people did you actually know from that group? Um, I, I generally go to movies with a group of people. With yeah. The group of people that surrounded me after I didn't, I knew didn't a couple of them. Right. But most of them were people I didn't know. Um, That's so interesting. I remember seeing. I, I remember walking out like, oh, I can. I mean, what, people know Cap and they yeah. know you know the stuff. And I guess people overheard you talking about like, you know, I guess I'm just so. confused. Yeah. Yeah. It, it it happens every time I go to a movie. I mean, I almost got, man, I almost got. Into a fight at Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. Because I made a, a, a stupid comment. What? Um, okay, so you got the, the guy, they, the, the the cell phone thing. This is obnoxious. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And the guy's filming, mm-hmm. and it's got a, this is illegal. And I'm like, wearing a hoodie's not illegal. Mm-hmm. What is this, some kind of Trayvon Martin bullshit? Oh. Well, you can't, what, a person can't wear a hoodie? Oh. Guy behind me lost his shit on me. Yeah. And it was a black guy. And I'm like, he's like, don't talk about what you don't fucking know about. I'm like, I know a lot about it, dude. I know a relatively innocent kid got murdered. Right. You know? Yeah. And he just but, mouthed but, off, mouthed off, mouthed off. Right. I'm like, look, dude. I'm I'm pretty sure you and I are on the same side on this. There ain't no reason you, why we got to be. You were right. You was exactly on the same side, but you were white saying something about Trayvon Martin, right. which made you a bad guy. Which is dumb. Right. But, absolutely. But. And what happened? We were sitting there, and there's a, a whole row of us. Mm-hmm. And at one point, the guy next to him said, "Dude, you might want to calm down. You realize that whole row of people was with him, right? <laughs> That's Jeff." Mm. And I went to turn around a little bit later, like after the movie, and tell him, I apologize to him, be like, look, dude, I wasn't trying to start no shit. I'm actually, you know, yeah. I'm not cool with a, with a kid being murdered yeah. for being black either, yeah. man. You know, Any, but he had moved. He had, he had moved, like, after the people told him, you know, that there was 12 of us. Okay, right. But, so I don't make that joke anymore. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah. But... Yeah, but we always go in a group. I mean, we all, it's just kind of how, mm. we, it's like Thursday night, who's going, let's all, you know, go and sit together, which is great. That means I can make fun of people and, you know, we can cut up and Dale comes and Dale's always the butt of my jokes, so. Wolverine 1 was awful. Yep. Wolverine 2 was a slight improvement. And I think, I think Logan's going to be the best of the three. But they really, like, they're doing, like, they're going full DC comics with this shit. They really don't care about continuity. No. They really don't care about the timeline. No. And then they're, they're going to call it Old Man Logan, but they can't do Old Man Logan. Right. I mean... Because well, of Hulk. Well, Hulk, Hawkeye, Hulk and Hawkeye were two huge parts of Old Man Logan. Right. They so, have to replace them with somebody else. Yeah. I mean, it'll, it, they can only use the X-Men characters. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I just don't care, man. Yeah. I just... X-23 had nothing to do with Old Man Logan. You know? No, no. But they just, I mean, they want to, in, they, I think they're going to shoot her on her end. I think they're going to try to merge the, the timelines and put her with the Yeah, X-Men. and basically she'll replace it. And she'll become the new Wolverine. Right. That way Hugh Jackman can move on. Right. And not right. have to do right. this shit anymore. Right. But, again, I just don't care. Yeah. I, until they put out a movie that I'm going to go, oh, okay, cool. That's a lot uh, of comic that, movies coming out this year, Cap. Yeah. And I'm only going to see like three of them. <laughs> Thor, Spider-Man. And uh, Guardians, Guardians, yeah, yep. Guardians, yeah. And then I'll see Star Wars in the end of the year. Star Wars, Valerian. I'm gonna check out Valerian. What's that? In a city of a thousand planets. It's a, it's a French comic book. Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The um, same guy who made uh, Fifth Element. Yeah. I think it's gonna be. Cool. That look, it looked good. It looked you know, beautiful. Yeah. My, the problem with it is probably um, I think it's gonna end up being the same thing as that that um, John Carter suffered from. Okay, makes um, sense. Yeah. 
they're a lot of money. When, it's not that. Um, John Carter was not a bad movie. I didn't think so. It was it was a good movie. A lot of people hated it because it was like, oh, this is ripping off Star Wars. It's ripping off this and that. And it's like, mm-hmm. actually, John Carter came long before Star Wars. Yeah. Star Wars and Star Trek all ripped off John Carter. Mm-hmm. You know, this is all Edgar Rice Burroughs stuff from long before there was television and movies. You know, all, all these tropes that you're you're like, oh, this was too it was too similar to this and this is because they all took it from that. Mm-hmm. You know. I enjoyed it. It was a good movie. It was well put together. It looked good, you know. And I think this is going to suffer from the same thing. Because it's a a, a vintage book, it, mm. and it's been, people have touched on it and used parts of it in other things. Yeah. So it's going to, it's people are going to, it's going to suffer from that. Okay. Because people are going to be like, oh, well, this is, you know, it's Blade Runner. This is, you know, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, well, I don't yeah. care. It looks beautiful. It does. It I'm looks excited great. to see it. But so did, I mean, um, the last Wachowski movie, um, Jupiter. Jupiter. Oh yeah, that looked great too. That looked great. I mean, it yeah, looked like, beautiful. Did you see it? It was garbage. It was really bad, Kev. I love that movie, man. It was I loved it. Absolute garbage. They could have made. The, I, I hope. I hope they make a sequel to it. I'm insane. I'm yeah. crazy. No, it was garbage. <laughs> it was really bad. It was horrible. But it was so awesome looking. I mean, it felt like it was in space. It was, they really they did a great great yes, job of it world building. Looked, exactly. It looked amazing. What do you think? Was, it, what do you think it failed at? I think it failed at the. Um, Mila Kunis and the acting was, they, were, they were horrible both of them horrible they, they were just robots yeah they were unfortunate. horrible unfortunate because I like both of them honestly yeah I, I, I don't care about Ken Chan Tatum Mila Kunis is cute but I could care less about her acting mm-hmm. they were awful and the story was so generic mm. it was just like wow really but the Wachowskis that's what they do they tell, they steal other people's stuff and they make movies out of it I mean that's I mean have you read The Invisibles no um, that, that's the Matrix? Yeah. Okay. It, you know, and it's obviously the Matrix, so it's like, eh, mm. whatever, you know? But. I, d- I dug it. But you have to run out of here, Captain, a little bit, huh? Uh, 20, yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. But that was, this was a good episode, Cap. This was a good one. Yep. You know, I'm, but I'm going to go uh, home and I'm going to see how many you've done. I'm, I'm, I'm interested, to, as, as on percentage, how many episodes have you been? Cause this one, this one was actually dedicated. Like I wanted you on it. You know what I mean? I'd, I'm gonna say a, a fifth of them. You don't think a fifth? A fifth. Out of eighty, there's gonna be eight, episode eighty-four. I'm gonna say it might be a, a quarter. I don't know if it's that many. <laughs> it might be. You'd be surprised. There's a lot of cases where you shoot, you do other people with stuff. So mm-hmm. it's, I don't know if it's that many. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I'm interested. Now I'm curious too. <laughs> Junior. My employee, call him Junior. <laughs> like, like Indiana Jones' dad, you know? Junior. He had that little Junior. hat, like, uh, what was it, a short round? Uh, it kind of looked like, <laughs> was a little hat. No disrespect, he's a good guy, he's a cool dude. Yeah, he's a good kid. He's a cool dude. Yep. He's, uh, he's a good kid. Wrap it up for me, Cap. Uh, any, any final words you want to say? Because we talked about... Uh, Pickle Barrel. Pickle Barrel? Kumquat. Just because they're fun to say. Chimichanga. <laughs> All right. Boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka. Um, final question, Cap. Who wins between the Warriors and the Cavaliers should they meet again in the NBA Finals? We could have talked about the Grammys, too. We didn't do that. I don't know shit about the Grammys. <laughs> I know zero about the Grammys. <laughs> that that would have been a boring conversation. You'd have okay. been telling me what happened, and I'd been like, oh. I didn't see it either. Yeah, I, just I, thought, I just thought, you know, perusing the social media, you, you would have gleaned something. Don't care. Mm, fair I enough. know there was probably some political crap. Yeah. I know there was probably some people, you know, I, I, I heard Adele, mm-hmm. you know, mess something up and had to restart. Yeah. Um, I think, but that, that's not on her, though. I think no, was, that, 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 there was a bunch of sound. I mean, they messed up in um, like Metallica. Metallica yeah. scene was messed up. They messed up on Adele a year before or two years before, whatever mm-hmm. it was. They obviously didn't know what the hell they were doing, but yeah. But no, I just, I don't care. I don't care about music shows. None of the music I listen to are going to ever win. I say that. You know, most of the music I listen to are never going to win a Grammy anyway. Mm. They're never going to be on there. Don't care. You know, that's not a punk category. They're the heavy, the first year they had a heavy metal category and Jethro Tull won it. I, I heard, heard like, about that. <laughs> I heard about I'm that. Out. Someone else brought don't that care. up. Don't care. Good job, man. But thank you for rocking with me, Cap. I know thank you got to wrap, uh, wrap it up over here. You got to get up out of here. Oh, yeah, I'm going to roll. I got, food, I got food at the house. Um, and I got to say, I, cause I'm, I haven't been here for two weeks, so I'm sure my, my, my uh, yeah. collection is huge. Yeah. So I'm going to have to take that, um, take that down a notch a little bit while you're, uh, while you're going. 
But yeah, Cap. So thank you for joining me, man. Hey, I'm going to wrap this thing up. Cool. As always, y'all, you can follow me. You want to give me your social media account? Huh? Yeah, your, your Twitter. You on Twitter? I got Twitter. I don't yeah, use it. You don't use it too uh, much, I'm though. just Jeffrey on Twitter. <laughs> um, it's funny. The Twitter was mostly for the wrestling stuff. I followed mm-hmm. some of those guys. But the main guy I followed friended me on Facebook. It was like, tell your friends don't even bother because I ain't friending them. Only, only my actual friends are on Facebook. Mm. Like, okay. You know, cool. Yeah. Chuck. <laughs> but, you know. But yeah, I'm out. I'm gonna go close this up so you finish it off. All right. And uh, I'm gonna go mess with Virginia. Do that. Cool. As always, y'all, you can follow me on Twitter, GrasshopperGP, Instagram, GrasshopperGP, both of which spelled normally, no special characters, numbers, emojis, underscores, anything crazy like that is GrasshopperGP, Instagram, and Twitter. Send me an email at GrasshopperGP at Yahoo.com for the types of sponsorships, advertisements, questions, comments, all that good stuff. GrasshopperGP at Yahoo.com is the place to do it. You are listening to this, but you're not watching this because I forgot my SD cards. So there was uh, no, uh, I had my cameras, but no SD cards, so I couldn't record. Anyway, you are listening to this on Grasshopper GP Official. That's Grasshopper with three S's because when I made the account, I couldn't spell Grasshopper GP Official with three S's. It's a YouTube account. Uh, British said I could get it changed, so if I can get it changed, I might. I kind of like actually saying uh, I couldn't spell, though, even though um, it was just my sake. Uh, it's your boy, GP. Cap, Mr. Jeff. Uh, document the podcast. Y'all be good.